Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make an intermission system in Roblox Studio. So uh, before we start off this video, I'd like to say that uh, you have one more week to submit your dev contest submission, which is April 1st, for 500 Robux. So if you don't have Discord, just paste the game link in the, in the bio, uh, I mean uh, in the description, uh, in the comments, and you can submit it there. So now let's teach you how to make an inter intermission system. Okay, so first, we're gonna make a game platform, and uh, a game platform, and a uh, uh, home platform, okay? So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this, okay? So we're gonna put the spawn location on the game platform, on, uh, on the lobby platform, okay? We're gonna call this part lobby, and then we're gonna call this part uh, game, okay? So this will be one, and then this will be one. Okay, so this is basically it uh, for the workspace setup. So we got the lobby and the spawn location. So if someone dies in the game, they will go back here. Okay, so now we're gonna insert uh, uh, in replicated search, we're just gonna insert a string value. And no, we're gonna, yeah, string value. And we're gonna call this, no, actually, no, we're gonna insert an int value and we're gonna call it time. Okay. So int value, time. Okay. So now we're gonna go to starter. Uh, now we're gonna go to starter GUI. Screen GUI. Oh, yeah, and also in a, in replicate search, also insert a bool value. Okay. So in the bool value, we're gonna call this. Uh. 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 Let's see. We're gonna call this game in progress. So if it's false, it will be lobby, and if it's true, it will be... So, game in progress will be false, okay? So now, in screen UI, we're gonna call this, uh... Let's just call this announcement. So, because it will display everything. So now we're gonna insert a text label here. Insert a text label right here. All the way here, okay? Text scaled. We're gonna make the text skilled. We're gonna do uh, intermission on the like 20 seconds. Intermission 20, okay? 20s. No, just do 20. Okay, and then just insert a text stroke. Okay, and we're gonna make the text stroke color white. And then we're gonna make the background transparency one. Okay, so now we have- no, I think we should swap the colors. That look, just looks straight ugly, straight up ugly. Okay, black. And then white. Yep, that looks better. Okay, so see, it says intermission 20. Okay. So we're just gonna blank that out. Okay, and we're gonna insert a local script here. Okay, we're gonna do, uh... Okay, so we're, first we're gonna do, uh... So, as soon as the player joins, we're going to just do wait, on, uh, uh, let's just do wait. So then we're going to do, if game dot replicated storage dot game in progress dot value equals equals to true, then, so let's say game in progress, script dot parent dot text equals to game dot dot game dot replicated storage dot time dot value. So game, okay, now we're going to do, else if game dot replicated storage dot time dot value equals equals to fault uh, no now we're gonna do else script dot parent dot text equals to uh intermission space dot dot game dot replicated to time dot value okay now we're gonna do game dot replicated storage dot time okay game dot dot time get property change signal no not get property change signal while you so each time it changes so this is why we need this earlier uh, connect function okay script so now we're gonna do we're gonna we need this again and then we're just gonna put this here okay so that works that will work now okay and now we just need a server script this will handle everything so now we're gonna do uh, we're gonna call this ha game handler so we're gonna do uh 
while true actually no let's do locals local time equal okay local time value equals the game that stores that time local game in progress equals to game dot replicate storage that game in progress we're gonna do a uh, local lobby part equals to uh, we're gonna do local lobby part equals to workspace dot lobby local game part equals to workspace dot game not gravity game okay and then after we're gonna do local just seconds equals to zero okay so now we're gonna do while true do so that's gonna be the we're gonna do starting seconds will be 20 okay we're gonna do intermission seconds okay so now we're gonna do this we're gonna do uh, game that replicate storage no hmm. game dot storage dot dot game in progress equals to false so the value bro not function equals to false okay so we're just making the value false so th the game knows that it's lobby okay now we're gonna do uh repeat we're gonna do repeat seconds equals to seconds minus actually no time no so we're gonna take out the seconds thing in the time just make this 20 as a base okay which this is gonna be the intermission time okay repeat seconds okay look repeat time value dot value equals to time value dot value minus one okay and then uh okay until time value equals equals to zero okay until time value dot value equals equals to zero so when that happens uh when that happens we're gonna do this so for <coughs> underscore comma player in pairs game bro not game dot players get children do now we're gonna do if player dot character So if player, so if the player has a character, then player dot character move to. Now we're gonna move to the game. Okay, so we're gonna do a uh, game part dot c frame plus vector three dot new zero one zero. So they so they let's do zero two zero so they don't get stuck in the part. Okay, now we're gonna do t time value. So now we're gonna do. Uh, uh, so now we're gonna do time value dot value equals to like let's do like let's do 30 for like testing purposes time value dot uh, uh, now we're gonna do time value uh, now we're gonna do game in progress game in progress dot value equals to true so now we know that it's game time okay and let's actually move this up here before it goes here, okay. Now we're gonna do repeat equals to minus one. Okay, so it just makes it go down to zero again. Okay, and then after that's done, game uh game in progress equals to false. Bro, not function. Bro, this is so annoying. Okay, game in progress equals to false. Game in progress dot value equals to false. Uh Time value dot value equals to twenty. Well, actually, no. We're gonna do local intermission time equals to twenty. Then we're gonna do local game time equals to thirty. Okay. So time value equals to game time, and then intermission time, and then this time we'll just make this value zero. So we'll just make it auto set. Okay. So now we're gonna do uh time dot uh time value dot value equals to uh intermission time no equals to intermission time okay so now we have this we're gonna do this again oh and also we're gonna we have to add a wait here wait one here or else it's not gonna work okay so add another wait one here okay 
I, okay, we're almost done. So now we're gonna do the player thing. Now we're just gonna make it go to the lobby part. Okay, we're gonna go to the lobby part, and I think we're good. Okay, uh, I tested it. There was a bit of error, so we're gonna make this uh, over this line. Just uh, instead, this line will be game in progress. The value equals to false. So previously it was like game interrupt restores the game in progress equals to false. Just change it to this, and then make this dot position instead of dot C frame. Okay, so now we'll test it. Let's press play. Intermission already working. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Intermission. See? Everything changed here. It changed to, it changed to intermission. Now it says game. So let's wait till the game is done. And see if you die. <coughs> if you die, you will go here, not to the game part. Okay? And then we also should make it a bit smoother because see if you see if you saw that it said intermission in it in the middle so we should change it to that so we should change that it doesn't look like uh, it doesn't say intermission as soon as it starts as you can see automatically switched intermission and we're here again okay which works okay so let's see time dot value equals intermission time okay look so game progress dot value equals to true. Ah, I see. We're just gonna we're gonna move this under this, so it's gonna be a bit more smooth. So basically, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. The model will be in the description. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye.